Howdy everyone, P Daddy here. EA has brought back one of my favorite parts of FIFA 20, and that is the Future Stars Academy. These are objectives where you can grind through the ranks to get multiple boosted versions of the same player, this Rainier Jesus. And my gosh, that card looks like straight fire. He's worthy of the Whopper button. Tell the crew to push the Whopper button. But I'm going to go over the best way, the fastest way, share with you some tips on how you can complete this, plus some other objectives at the same time. But before we begin, if you are new here, please make sure to subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. So to start off with, some of the objectives you can get done just basically in beginner difficulty on squad battles if you want to. Like, take a look at this very first objective. It's score four goals using forwards, and forwards are either strikers, right forwards, left forwards, left wings, or right wings. So pretty much if you play the game at all, even if you didn't even know about this objective, you're going to be given the 78 rated. So take a look at that. You're getting the 78 rated Rainier right off the right off the drop. So without basically doing anything, just playing the game, you're going to get this. 78 rated Rainier card. Now what you have to do is then you'll have to put that Rainier into your club, that 78 rated one, and move them onto the, these objectives. And notice here, the boy from Brazil scored three goals using 78 overall rated Future Stars Rainier. So you're going to complete this one first. So you have to do this one first and foremost. Four goals using forwards. And again, weekend league, beginner difficulty on squad battles, uh, friendly matches, whatever, you know, anything goes on that one and you'll get the 78 rated Rainier, put him into your team. And then if you score three goals, again, you can do this one on beginner difficulty. So right now we're talking about two games so far that you can score four goals with any forward, then put Rainier into your team, score three goals with him and assist two goals with him. So if you want to do that on the beginner difficulty, you can do that. But then here's where the little bit of the kicker is. This is where our first grind comes in. Score using that 78 overall rated Rainier and four separate matches. And once you do that, then you're going to get the 82 rated version. So notice how we're already going to get that. This will be our second version of Rainier. So we got our 78 rated version. We use the 78 rated version to do one, two, three. And then that gives us the 82 rated version of Rainier. And I just, I love this concept, you know, just of these guys rising through the academy and kind of developing into a really special card. So it's a really neat concept. It's a lot of a grind. So just, but just keep in mind these first four here, you can do it any difficulty. You can do it on squad battles. And, and you know, because we probably don't want to take in a 78 rated, like let's just take a look at this card. 78 rated Rainier, you know, it's not a horrible card. It's a little bit of pace. Shooting's pretty poor. Passing's pretty poor. It's just not a very good card. So you, it's not like you want to take that Rainier 78 rated into rivals or weekend league. So you're probably looking to do that in squad battles or looking to do that. These three objectives right here and friendlies perhaps. So just keep that in mind to get to the 82. Then we're still in the same thing. We're still where we can do this in any game mode. So even once we get up to that 82, that is a much better car. Like check out the boost from that one. 85 pace goes to 87 pace. 76 shooting goes to 81 shooting. So you can just see the boost that you get, you're starting to get for the 82 car. So then this one assists three goals with through balls using the 82 overall rated. So now you want to take the 78 rated Rainier out of your team, replace them with that 82 rated in your team, and then get the assist three goals with through balls. Again, squad battles, beginner difficulty, friendlies, matches, whatever you want to do with that. You can do that on any, any system or any game mode. And then here, assist four goals. Now we've got our first one that's going to have a slight bit of a requirement. And this is assist four goals using 82 overall Rainier and the live foot friendly managerial masterpiece. Now here's where things start to get a little crazy and everything else from here on down is requiring managerial masterpiece except for the very bottom one. So we're on, let's see, let me make sure we're on the same page talking about this one. So where we start here, we start talking about managerial masterpiece. Now this is where I almost recommend waiting. Unless you are just dying to bring this 87 rated Rainier into your team, I would say you may want to wait to, to complete this one. And the reason I'm saying that is because I'm a big fan of grinding out multiple objectives at the same time. And notice how much time is left on this one. 27 days, 23 hours, basically four weeks to get this Rainier done. Most of our player objectives take place in managerial masterpiece. We don't have anything else right now. Last year they released four different Future Future Stars Academy players. I don't know that they're going to do that again this year, but I'm sure over the next four weeks they're going to release some other objectives that are also going to take place in managerial masterpiece. 
but there is one exception. If you have not completed, go ahead and check under your milestones. And on this account, I have it on my Player Objectives Road to Glory account I have. But if you have not completed Area Divisi, if you have not completed Championship, if you have not completed MLS, you can do these objectives at the same time. Now notice over here, and I've got videos on my channel of all of these. So if you want to know what team to use, if you want to know exactly how to do it, then go find those videos on my channel. I would recommend those. But these Air to Vissi cards, like that Van Bergen right there, is still a really strong super sub. And you can even start him in game. And you maybe will see his stats and be like, eh, it doesn't look that great. But that Van Bergen is just a cracked card. Just absolutely love that Van Bergen. But anyway, you can complete these. Notice how these are all a managerial masterpiece. So what you would have to do here, and notice this, you could even start the... Uh, the Rainier because you only have to have seven Eredivisie players in your starting squad. So you can have seven Eredivisie players and you can have four Bundesliga players. So just keep that in mind. But if you want to have 11 Eredivisie players and just bring on that Rainier as a sub, that's completely fine. But all of those, even this uh, right here, this Aaron Long card is really strong that you get from this one. So just keep that in mind that you can combine objectives, and I highly recommend that. If you've already done all the ones and milestones, and you, but if, you, if you're not dying to get them done right now, then just maybe wait a couple days because I know we're going to get some more objectives with, by the time this one expires and managerial masterpiece. Then we can kind of work towards the same things at the same time. And that just makes it so much nicer when you can just start clicking down objectives like multiples at the same time. So just wanted to point that out. Here's where we start using that, but notice there's nothing else. It's just assist four goals and uh, using 82 overall, Future Stars, Rainier, and Manager of Masterpiece. So if you're doing it at the same time as the Area Divisi objective, then that's perfect. Same thing here. Score using 82 overall rated of Rainier in six separate matches in the managerial masterpiece foot friendly. So keep that in mind. And once you do that, you get 85 rated Rainier. Now this is where some of this starts to get really nice because if you grind this all the way down, you will have this 85 rated Rainier. You will have 82 rated Rainier and you will have the 78 rated. So even if we go grind all the way to the 87 rated, that's a free 85 card that you can submit into another SBC. So that's like been given a free 85 rated card that you no longer need because once you get to the 87 rated Rainier, that 85 one just becomes redundant. You don't need them anymore so that's great for su submitting it as fodder into another SBC. so now you've got 85 rated rainier now it gets a slight bit of a problem because in managerial masterpiece you can only take a 77 rated club into the team so you may have to adjust a few things to make sure you can get rainier into the team but it shouldn't be that big of a problem now we're also we're continuing the grind, scoring six separate wins using 85 overall rated Rainier. So just keep that in mind as well. So now we're up to the 85. You're plugging the 85 rated into your team. Then score six finesse goals. So now this is one you can combine right here. So try to make sure, and finesse goals, that's this RB or R1, depending on what controller, hold that in the entire time while you push the shoot button, and that will register as a finesse goal. So you could do these at the same time. You could score six finesse goals and six wins, knock these two out at the same time. Then we're getting to another one here, score a brace, which is two goals in three separate matches. Again, these could all be in the same game. So if you're scoring uh, two goals and you and out of three of your wins, you can knock out all three of these at the same time. Now we're getting into the little bit of the bigger grind. Now this one, where we may end up taking out multiple objectives. So say you get through Eredivisie, then maybe you move on to MLS, or if you're waiting for either some more Future Stars Academy or waiting till next week, maybe we'll get some other other objectives i don't know for sure what we'll get i'm just i'm sure we're going to get something within the next four weeks but this is scoring 16 separate matches so this is a pretty big grind so but the ultimate prize when everything is said and done you've got to play 25 games with rainy in your starting lineup but notice that is not from any specific Rainier. These are all 85. You know, they progress down. Use the 78, use the 82, use the 85. This one will count with any Rainier in your starting lineup. So as you're doing the 78 rated Rainier, you'll be clicking off towards that. As you do the 82 rated, you'll be clicking off. So all of those will click off to there. If you somehow, I haven't really calculated it out if that, if it's possible to do that without... You know, what I'm saying is, you know, can you finish everything else and still have like three more games you need to play? I'm not for sure. But if that happens and just you could go into three squad battles matches on beginner difficulty with any Rainier in your starting lineup just to get to the 25 games, then you'll have all 12 objectives complete 
and you'll have this 87 rated Rainy Ain to your team, which looks like an absolute fire card. Brazilian Dortmund links. You can maybe link them with that Reina Future Stars card would be a strong link. But let's take a look at Rainy Let's just take a look at how good he looks with his stats, how he uh, stacks up to everyone else. And I guess that's another one. I've really enjoyed playing with this Bruno Guimaraes. I'm pretty sure he expired, but that's another Brazilian link. So we've got some nice links. Let's just compare him to CR7 here. Uh, let's just see. Let's just see if we go Brazil. We'll go. Just kind of want to take a look at some of the different versions of them. Bundesliga and concept players. Let's trying to bring up all of them at once. So yeah, all of the ones. Rainier right here. And if you compare them to even to CR7, that's kind of interesting. Look at that there. I've got my gold CR7. Rainier has better pace. I'm not going to say Rainier is going to play better than CR7. I'm just letting you know how good his stats look overall. 91 pace. Now, the shooting is a little bit poor, so I do recommend Rainier is probably going to need a bit of a shooting boost. Passing of 86, drilling of 89, more physical. So this Rainier card is really, really strong. Let's take a look at his stats. He has four-star, four-star, high-medium work rates, six-foot-one, and he's also good pace. I'm thinking what you would maybe do on this one, you'd probably either do a hunter or a finisher. Now, the finisher would take his shooting to the next level, but it wouldn't really t t uh, help his pace. Finisher, I think, would be pretty epic because it would also help his dribbling become next level. His passing is actually really good for a striker. If you take out crossing and free kick accuracy, which you don't need, he's got 94 vision, 90 short pass, 80 long pass for a striker. is epic, plus 97 curve. As far as player traits go, he doesn't have any of the best player traits. He doesn't have, you know, outside foot shot or... But a finesse shot trade or anything, but you know, it's sometimes that comes into play, sometimes it doesn't. He has good stamina, good strength, just a really top notch card. I highly recommend completing them. And it's fun going through the grinds, you know, just kind of working your way towards this Rainier card. But I will say, try to combine some other things at the same time. It's just going to make life so much easier, and you'll be grinding the game even better, knocking out multiple objectives at once. But, anyways, this is going to wrap it up for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. But I will see you guys soon. Bye.